What's going on guys? So just gonna make a quick video showing off this new soldering iron tip that I picked up. Basically with this, you can turn any cheap soldering station into a micro soldering station. What this is, is it's a 900M series soldering iron tip, which is from Hakko. This tip isn't from Hakko, but that style of cartridge is. And basically it fits all 900M style soldering irons. So the 888, the 888D, I think there's about 50 billion Chinese ones you get off eBay. So the whole soldering stations, you've seen them around. They're like 30 bucks, they're not much. And they're very basic. It just has the ceramic heating core in here. And then you just slide the tip over the end. And then you put the little wire over the top, heats up, you can solder with it. If you're just getting into this sort of stuff, this is probably the iron you've got laying around. It also comes with all those combo hot air stations. So, so this is basically very standard iron that you see around on eBay because everyone's copied them. They're your standard Hakko clones. They use the same kind of tip everything. This iron, or well this iron tip here, uh, it's been around for about six months. Originally they came out as copper. They're just straight up, or well, copper or brass or something. They're just straight up useless basically because you couldn't wet them with solder or anything and they wore out really quickly. They were good for running um, jumper wires and stuff, but that's about it. Like, wasn't the best. You just wouldn't use one for very long. Um, and Mechanics come out, they've copied that idea, but they've gone ahead and used an iron core. So the whole thing is just made out of iron. And then they've managed to tin it on the end here. My one here is a bit dirty just because I was messing around with it and I didn't clean it. Um, and it's been just chrome plated as well, so it's very nice. And it fits under all these cheap irons, so the Hakko, Triple Eight D, the, the Triple Eight, which is basically the same iron, um, and then all those cheap combo units you see on eBay for like 30 bucks or $100. They come with a hot air station and a iron, it all works. I've made a video previously of the Hakko T12 clone, which is a clone of probably their most common sort of higher end station with full removable cartridges and stuff. That's really good, but the problem is with those ones, you can't get tips or anything for them just yet that are this small. You'd have to go to a T30 handle, which is the micro pencil, I believe, but they don't work with the clones and the handle itself is like a hundred Australian dollars. It's not worth it. You're better off saving up a bit more money and buying one of those JBC clones. But yeah, if you're just getting started, this is great. Um, I'll put in some footage here in a sec, hopefully of this compared to the ILS tip that I've shown off before. As you can see, it's really small. Um, the only downside of this is you might have to run the iron a bit hotter just because there's a bit of a thermal delay between the tip here and the element and it just doesn't get quite as hot as if you're using a um, direct element like the other ones. Like you try and heat something up and it won't solder that great, but turn the heat up a little bit, use a higher wattage iron and you should be fine. Anyway, just thought I'd show this off. Until next time, see ya.